What's up guys and welcome to another pottery video. Today I have a super easy, quick project to show you guys. It's how to make these plates. So they're slab built, hand built, don't need the wheel for anything. So super simple to make. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. We use these at the coffee shop um, all the time for sandwiches, tons of stuff. They're really easy to make and I'm gonna show you how right now. First, start out with your clay and you make a slab. So however how you wanna make a slab, uh, you can throw out a slab. I have a great video about how to do that uh, if you want to go watch that. Otherwise, I have a nice slab roller, so I'm going to use that. So, for me, what I do when I make a, a slab, even if I'm using a slab roller, I start out by just kind of tossing it. Just tossing it like this. That's basically how you start. And then I'll take this over to the slab roller because that'll make it a really even thickness. But if you want, you can just keep going until you get to the right thickness and then you can start from there. Okay, so this is our slab roller. I have one piece of canvas. We'll put our clay right there. And then we just put another piece of canvas right on top. And this slab roller is set at almost a half an inch on both sides. It's like between 3 eighths of an inch and half an inch. And I make them really thick for the coffee shop because they get daily use and they get washed like multiple times a day. You can choose how thin or thick you like your plates, but certainly better to be a little on the thicker side, I would say, for this style. So I run it through once, then we have our slab. So I'll just pull the slab. I'll just put the slab down right here. So what I do is I use an, another plate as a template and obviously it is gonna shrink a little, so this is a larger plate than I want. Um, you could also just make a template out of paper, you know, just cut around the size of the shape that you want or the size of the plate you want. Basically, I'll just take this needle tool or a knife or whatever you wanna use to cut, cut it around. Boom. Okay, there's one. And then I would probably tend to try and get enough slab to do like three at a time, but this is obviously only enough for two. Okay, so I cut those out. Now what I do is I have a sponge and I have water and I'll just run the sponge around the edge, right? And if you wanna get rid of all the little marks, it would be good to like use a something, but for these, like I'm more about making these as quick as possible to use them. So then once it's wet around the edge, you can just kind of take your fingers, run it around the edge, one thumb on the inside, just kind of form it, right? And what I'm trying to do is just knock down the hard edges on the rim. That's all I'm trying to do. Get it wet enough that you can slide your fingers around it, but not too wet that you have any sitting water anywhere, okay? Because if you have sitting water, that will just cause problems cracking. So you just want it wet enough that you can slide your fingers. Boom, that's all I would do uh, for this one. So then I would just take this, move it onto somewhere flat that it can dry a little bit. And then I'll probably come back one more time after it's a little more hard, like probably tomorrow. Just make sure that the edges are all really smooth. Sign the bottom and then let it dry. And that's it, super easy, super quick. Um, and they turn out really cool. I never have had these to sell at the coffee shop before but people use them, they get their sandwich on them and their soup or whatever, like in a bowl and then a half sandwich and then they, all, they ask if they can buy them a lot. So super easy, take the sponge all the way around and mostly this is just so that you can take your hands and slide them really easily. Boom, done. Then I'll move this. All right, and that is it for how to make these plates. So obviously once they're dry, you can bisque fire them. They come out, glaze them however you want. Um, if I have any finished by the time this video is up, I'll show you some pictures. But if not, good luck. Make them any shape you want. Make them crazy as you want. But this is just a super simple, easy way. No wheel needed. You don't even need a slab roller if you know how to just throw out a slab or roll it out. Super simple and easy. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.